FIFA 20 will be an ultimate team filled with overpowered cards and today I'm going to show you guys a squad full of overpowered players. So let's dive right into FIFA 20 Ultimate Team and again more gameplay coming your way guys today. Let me know in the comments what do you think of the gameplay that you're seeing on your screen. In terms of when the game actually begins with this overpowered squad, what are your thoughts? Do you think it looks faster, slower, do you reckon it looks a bit better? What do you think? So right into the squad we go and I had a bit of a conundrum with the goalkeeper position i actually originally had Ariola. obviously every position in this squad will be an overpowered player in regards to their rating they feel better than their rating which makes them overpowered right and a lot of these players should hopefully be cheap especially by like october november time maybe more so november so i actually nearly went with Ariola. it looks really really good however he has transferred from psg to i believe is it real madrid Am I right in saying that? Did Kalo Navas go to PSG in the end and they switch? I want to say they did. So I was actually going to go with Ariola. However, I actually end up selecting Ruffier. So he's going to be a really, really solid keeper in this autumn team, guys. Very good stats there as well. Every card I chose, I spent a few hours in Amsterdam at the capture event with EA. And I was like, I've got to be wowed and kind of shocked by how good these cards are in an overpowered squad right so i had to choose a team based on that these players have to wow me in terms of being overpowered rough yeah definitely did kim bembe will be a very overpowered player there good strength and aggression good stamina very nice pace there for an 82 center back brilliant stats there very overpowered defender in ultimate team next to kim bembe we are going to be choosing the center back who is playing currently in the Bundesliga it's going to be Hernandez I mean look at that card look at that 86 aggression good stamina good strength brilliant defensive stats 81 pace as well and obviously a fantastic nation for hybrid squads this is going to be a brilliant ultimate team for squad building guys going to be probably back to the days of FIFA 14 all the way to FIFA 17 for squad building I feel like FIFA 18 FIFA 19 kind of lost its way a bit with squad builders in a way, whereas I feel like this FIFA is definitely going back to its roots. We're going to go with a very nice card again there, 88 pace, 82 dribbling there on a 77 rated card is phenomenal. This guy was brilliant for me at right back at the FIFA 20 event. Left back is going to be a new transfer, and this guy is probably going to be one of the more expensive players in the defense, especially Hernandez will obviously be the most expensive in the defense, but I think this guy could be next as his name is Mendy. So 88 stamina, always look at their defensive stats, always look at a fullback's overall stats. Mendy just has so many stacked stats right there. That guy has so many green card ratings, it's insane. Moving on though, we're gonna go to maybe the most overpowered midfielder in all of FIFA 20 Ultimate Team. It is Sissoko, 89 physical. Look at that for an 81 rated card in FIFA 20. How overpowered are we talking here, guys? That looks more like an 85 rated card if I've seen one before. That is an unbelievable card right now. As you can see, the chemistry is very strong. So I also, again, wanted to make this quite realistic. I wanted to use a bit more creativity. So I may have lost maybe two chemistry, do you believe? But we make it up to 100, obviously, with the whole squad. I think Mendy may not finish on full chem, but I wanted to use him as he's so overpowered in this game. We then go with the Brazilian player there, CDM from Leon. Really, really overpowered player there. That is Mendes there from Lee, going to believe. After that, we're going to scroll all the way through those icon ratings. We're going to go down to the next player, which is going to be Tyson. This guy was phenomenal. Very, very promising start to his ultimate team career as he did score a nice goal in this video. So very, very good card in ultimate team right there. And it's crazy seeing some of these ratings. I remember the days when like Juan Mata was, wasn't he 87 rated in like FIFA 13? Anyway, moving on, we're going to go to the Premier League and there's quite a few to choose from. However, Bernard for me in game was really, really nice to use. And it's all because of his insane agility. 94 agility, 95 balance. And just kind of cross the ball with him, get the ball to the striker in this squad. Right winger, guys, for, the, for one of the best cheap overpowered squads in FIFA 20 Ultimate Team will be Rikalison. 
This guy in game is brilliant. I cannot believe, by the way, he has not got a better rating. I do think he deserved better. I think he scored 13 goals last season, and that's the same as some of the players. I'm hoping he gets an upgrade for FIFA in the future. Anyway, moving on, we're going to go to an unbelievably overpowered player. Gabriel Jesus is 82 rated. I think he should probably be 84. I think he's a very good player. I'm surprised he's 82, to be honest. So that is the overpowered squad. That is an unbelievably fun squad, by the way, can I add? That is such... I love these players. Gabriel Jesus was unbelievable. He's going to be a really, really nice striker, guys. If you can get him early on, then you are laughing. You're going to get high up in the divisions with him. So Jesus, for me, was brilliant. I mean, everyone was great in this squad, right? They're all overpowered in their own way. Sissoko was just monstrously good. He was brilliant. Honestly, I love Sissoko's card in this game. Thiago Mendes was great. Ricarlison really surprised me in game. He was really, really just fun to use on the wing. Obviously, hasn't got the most rapid of pace, right? Obviously, Bernard is faster. But Ricarlison was really clinical in front of goal. So that is the formation. That is some of the tactics I did use for this squad. And now we go into gameplay. It does, for me, it looks different in FIFA 19. Obviously, when you play a lot of FIFA, you can tell like the more subtle differences. But look how nice this goal is. Look at that clean passing right there in FIFA 20 Ultimate Team, right there with one of the best cheap overpowered squads. And, and as I said before, man, Ricarlison is brilliant. Really like his card a lot in this game. Defo going to pick him up. I will be doing Zero Tiro, guys, as I will be streaming a lot more soon, so I can't wait for that. But yeah, Ricarlison, goal right there with the lovely Sampdoria kit. I may need to get that kit soon. Defending with the team, though, more importantly, felt brilliant. I really am liking defending on this current build of the 20 gameplay. And when you use this new overpowered squad in the new Ultima team, the defense was brilliant. I really, really played well against some icon players, against some players like Messi, Ronaldo. So they did stack up. If you can defend in this game, then if you do use a cheap team like I'm using here compared to, like, obviously a full icon team, then you'll be able to compete. This is different than FIFA 19. Like, if you can defend, then you can play well with any kind of team. I'm telling you, like, I was playing really well against some good players and good, obviously, FIFA players who are YouTubers at the capture event who are good at FIFA. So I really did show, like, I got quite decent at defending and feeling confident about this year for champions. And as again, quality defending. It wasn't that great, but it was still, defending is improved. That's a good thing. So... Again, if you are decent at defending, guys, then get amazing at it. This is going to be FIFA where you want to get amazing at defending. But lovely goal there to make it 3-2 and win the game there with the cheap, insane, overpowered squad. And who else but Tyson? That guy was incredible to use. Really overpowered card, to be honest. And although his shooting is 79, which is actually really good, to be fair, for it's like a cheap card... It felt more like 85. That guy was scoring some ridiculous goals, so hopefully he'll be amazing when the game comes out. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this insane, cheap, overpowered squad. Leave a like and subscribe for more FIFA 20 videos, and I'll see you guys later.